Thank you so much. It is so fabulous to be here with you incredibly talented uh, women podcasters. Uh, thank you so much, Molly. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Jerome L. Green Performance Space here at New York Public Radio. Um, I want to just uh, give a special uh, shout out to the Harnish Foundation. We have some people here from the Harnish Foundation. They have a great uh, tagline on their, on their website, and it, it is that they are creative, uh, th that they do uh, creative, progressive, and spirited philanthropy. I just love that line. So let's give a special thank, shout out to the Harness Foundation. Um, and uh, tomorrow morning, you're in for a treat uh, when Pat Harrison, the CEO of, of CPB, some of you may remember her from last year or know her. She is wildly funny. She's visionary and incredibly accomplished. And she will be here. Uh, and uh, she is part of the original uh, kind of idea for Work It and for women's podcasting because uh, several years ago, years ago when um, I, I was reading an article um, by Julie Shapiro. Is Julie here? Yay, there she is. Right, so Julie is also part of the founding idea here because she did a, a look at the top 100 podcasts. Um, many of you may remember this article and found that 20% uh, had, uh, had at least one woman host. There were 11% that, that had uh, a woman host and 9% that had men and women. And that just 20% out of the top 100, that's just not good enough. And so I started thinking, well, what could we do about this? What, how can we change this? Because this is a medium that's new. This is not the way it's supposed to be. Uh, so I was about to go on a panel that Pat had asked me to, to participate in uh, at a conference, and we started talking about it, and she said, well, what, what can I do? And I said, well, if I get up on the panel stage and we talk about this and we say we want to support women podcasters to change this, will you say you'll support a conference and support uh, some programming? And she said yes, and so I did, and she said yes, and, the, and this idea was born. Um, and so she didn't hesitate a minute, and so we will uh, hear from her tomorrow. I also want to um, acknowledge uh, the one man in the room, <laughs> the token man. Where is he? Dean Capello. There he is in the back. Um, Dean is an extraordinary partner in all of this and uh, a visionary leader of WNYC Studios and uh, has helped to launch several new podcasts that we have done in the last uh, just in the last year that have women hosts. There's, uh, help me out if I miss one, there's Two Dope Queens, of course. There's, uh, yes, there's Only Human with Mary Harris, yes. Uh, if you heard uh, More Perfect last week, Susie Lechtenberg was uh, the host there, that is great. And have I missed one? Death, well, now that, that's, that's been on, but of course, Death, Sex, and Money and Manu Samarodi are already in the family, so uh, we're doing our part. But uh, we are now, uh, last year when I stood up on this stage, uh, I, I, we looked at where we were in terms of the top 100, and there were 31% that had at least one woman host. And we, I set uh, the bar, I said, that's good progress, but I wanna get to 50% by 2018. Yep, and we're gonna do it. We're making progress, we're at 37%, 37.2% to be exact, but we've got some work to do now. Um, and uh, so we have two more years, and I really want all of us in this room, we cannot, and none of us can do it alone, we gotta do it together, and we gotta do it by supporting each other and by, uh, finding uh, incredibly talented women, many of you in this room and, so, and listening on uh, the live stream. So uh, we have our work to do, cut out and I know we can do it. So let's work it. <laughs> this year, we had close to 700 applications for Work It. We got applications from across the world, from France and Argentina to Nigeria and India. Of all of those applications, we selected you the women in this room to take part in this program. Thank you for bringing your voice to this important conversation. We have women here from Slate, from Vox, from The Moth, from PRX, from AIR, from The New York Times, ESPN, The Huffington Post, Columbia Journalism School, American Public Media, New York Magazine, Gimlet, as well as women working in fields beyond journalism. So welcome on in. There's so much to learn and from each other over the course of the next uh, two days, so much progress we can make and so much inspiration to share. So let's get 
to it. I just want to mention one other thing. I don't know how many of you saw this list that was going around yesterday of the top 22 people in podcasting. How many women were on that list? Two. Okay, come on. Should we do our own list? <laughs> they're two great women, and they're both here. Are they both here? Uh, who? Yeah. Me yeah, Megan, you're here. And who was the other one? I'm sorry. Sarah. Sarah, of course. Is Sarah here? No. But we, they're great women. But they're there really are a more that deserve to be on there, right? And they're and and we need to come out with our own statement about the leaders of podcasts and all the men, including Dean. Are, we're also terrific, so nothing to take away from the men, but uh, anyway. Um, so here to kick things off, I am sure to make us laugh as well, is the wonderful Michelle Buto. Michelle is a comedian, TV host, and actress. Her half-hour comedy special premiered on Comedy Central last September, and her comedy album, Shut Up, is currently available on iTunes. She's done stand-up across the country, has appeared on The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, Lopez Tonight, and The Last Comic Standing. You may also know her as Private Robinson from Fox's critically acclaimed series Enlisted or as the crazy girlfriend on Comedy Central, Central's Key and Peele. Michelle was also a featured comedian in the hit podcast Two Dope Queens from WNYC Studios. Please welcome Michelle Buto. Thank you. 